Many Christian missionaries have impacted the nations of the world. One such missionary hero is Robert Felix Cook, called as Cookasaip by the Malayalis of Kerala, India. Robert was born in 1880 into a Christian family and was born again at the age of seven and baptized at 12. When Robert was 14 years old, he dedicated his life for the work of the gospel. During the Azusa Street Revival in 1912, Robert Cook and his wife Anna were baptized by the Holy Spirit in Los Angeles. In the same year, while attending the first worldwide Pentecostal camp, Robert and Anna heard the distinct call of God to go to India. In obedience to the call of God, 100 years ago, in 1913, Robert Cook, who was 33 years old, along with his wife Anna and two young daughters, Blossom and Dorothy, nine and seven years old, sailed for India. In October, he arrived in Bangalore without any church or organization to support him. All that Robert had with him was his patched up suit which he wore on his journey and a promise of five dollars a month from his father. Four years later in 1917 a great disaster struck Robert when his wife Anna died. But in 1918 Robert married Bertha Fox and God blessed them with three children. From 1917 to 1922, Robert preached the gospel in Travancore and Tamil Nadu, traveling up to nine hours at a time on an ox cart and living in small huts. He suffered great troubles for the sake of the gospel. Robert wanted to settle in Tirunelveli in Tamil Nadu and do the Lord's work. But he was not granted permission by the government of Tamil Nadu. However, in 1922, he moved to Katarakara because the government of Travancore granted him permission. Four years later, in 1926, he purchased a property in Mount Zion and built the bungalow where their three cook boys, George, Alex, and Paul, grew up. During the 37 years of his ministry in India, many people were saved and delivered from the bondage of sin and sicknesses. He ministered under the anointing and the power of Pentecost. Robert worked day and night to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to the poor, the Dalits, the orphans, and the oppressed people. Robert Cook established churches in many places like Velakudi, Suranad, Chetakal, Nalanikun, Tuveur, Kotarakara, Konapara, Variapuram, Adur, Anilitanam, Kumbanad, Puvatur, Putankurish, Omalur, Korancheri, and Kanyakuri, etc. Robert established a total of 150 churches and baptized about 6,000 people. In 1950, when Robert was 70 years old, 
he was called back to the United States of America by the World Missions Department where he spent the rest of his life in Cleveland, Tennessee. In 1958, at the age of 78, Robert peacefully died and is buried there. This year, in 2013, during the centennial celebration of the first arrival of Robert Cook to India, the Church of God World Missions and Churches of God in America, Gulf countries, United Kingdom and India are praying to God for a great revival. It has been 100 years since Robert arrived with the Gospel in India. However, there are 89% of the 2,599 people groups who have yet to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. India has the largest number of unreached people groups in the world. Therefore, during the centennial, we are asking God to raise people that will carry the gospel of Jesus Christ to the unreached peoples of India. In addition, we plan to donate 100 bicycles to village missionaries add 100 children to our orphanages and support 100 new Bible College missionary students. Many leadership seminars and conferences are also being planned to be held during this time. We ask you, brothers and sisters, to join us in prayer and to partner with Robert F. Cook Centennial Celebrations May God bless you